So today we are going to be making some hot cross buns. And hot cross bun is a spice sweet bun made with dried fruits, marked with a cross on the top, and traditionally it is being eaten on Good Friday. So we are going to get started with the ingredients. Here I have three cups of flour, one and a half cups of warm milk, three quarter cup of brown sugar, half cup of cinnamon powder, one and a half teaspoon of vanilla essence, quarter teaspoon of salt, one and a half teaspoons of grated nutmeg, two tablespoons of room temperature butter. I also have some red and green cherries, which is optional along with three quarter cups of raisins. So into my mixing bowl, I'm going to add the milk along with one tablespoon of yeast. From the three quarter cup of brown sugar, I'm going to take two tablespoons of sugar and add it to this mixture, give it a nice little stir and set it aside to bloom. Once it's bloom, it's time for me to add the rest of the ingredients. Now I'm adding the rest of the sugar and the flour along with the salt and the grated nutmeg. Now add the cinnamon powder, the raisins and the cherries which is optional. I just like to see the colors in my cross bun. Once I do this I'm going to add the room temperature butter along with some essence and don't you forget to check the description box below. Now it's time for the mixer to do its work with the paddle attachment and I'm going to let this mix for five minutes on a slow speed. So I did speed up the process on the last minute and this is what the mixture looks like. At this time you want to take your spatula and just scrape the sides of the pan making sure that there are no raw flour left at the side or at the bottom of the pan. Give it another mix for another two minutes. and you're gonna end up with a very soft mixture. So now I'm going to remove this mixture from the pan and place it onto my work surface with some flour. Once I place it here, I am just using like three tablespoons of flour to do the kneading because you don't want to do much kneading on this mixture. Once I am done kneading this mixture, I'm going to place it into a grease dish with cling wrap over and set it aside for four to five minutes. At this time, I like when a dough is rising, I judge the dough by how much it rises, not how long it takes. All right, so now that the dough has been doubled in size, I'll place it onto a floured surface. The dough is still sticky at this time, but you still want to use a little bit of flour. So I'm going to go ahead and cut them into small pieces, make some nice little round balls and place them into a grease dish. And once they're done, you just place a cling wrap over the dish with these little bun balls. <laughs> as I would say, and let them sit there for about four to five minutes. After four to five minutes, this is what they look like, and I'm going to place them into the oven to bake for one hour at 275 degrees. While the bun is baking, I have a pan of a medium heat with quarter cup of brown sugar and about four tablespoons of water 
and a few pieces of cinnamon sticks and you want to bring this to a boil just so that we can make a syrup to glaze the bun immediately after you remove them from the oven. Now that the sugar syrup is finished, I'll set this aside and start to do the buttercream just so that I can top my hot cross buns when it's done. Here I have half cup of icing sugar and two teaspoons of butter. Once I combine this well, I'm going to add one teaspoon of milk and mix well. Once this is mixed well, I'll set it aside. My cross buns is finished and I'm going to take that sugar syrup that I made earlier and just make sure I baste the cross buns with it. You want to do this when the bun is extremely hot. Once I'm done doing this, I'm going to let this cool. Not too cold, not too hot, but just cool enough that I can start piping the buttercream onto the cross bun. So here I'm piping the buttercream onto my cross bun. And at this time, guys, I want to be honest with you, I did not leave my cross bun to cool completely because if you notice when I started to do my frosting, it started to melt and I continue to just put them right between. It looks like a style, but it did hold on firmly. And this is my beautiful cross buns, guys. They're just soft and tasty. Look at this, and I hope you guys enjoy my recipe. And don't you forget to press that subscribe button and leave me a comment below. Thank you for coming in the kitchen with Lynn. Enjoy.